Well, meanwhile, in Seattle, a community recovering there after one person is shot dead and three others injured. The suspected gunman is now in custody, but police are thankful today for the quick action of a few. Dan Springer is live on the scene at Seattle Pacific University with more. Dan? Yeah, and Jenna, the shooting started outside of the engineering building here on the campus of Seattle Pacific University about 3.30 in the afternoon as classes were going on inside. The gunman then walked inside the main doors of the building and continued firing. We know that three students were shot. One, a 19-year-old man died. A 20-year-old female survived a five-hour surgery and is in critical but stable condition. And a third victim is in satisfactory condition. As the suspect was reloading his shotgun, just inside those front doors, a hall monitor likely saved lives. We got some video of him walking away from the scene looking pretty dazed. Other students jumped in and held him down until police arrived. A few minutes later, the school's president praised 22-year-old John Mees, who was an engineering student, and a whole lot more today. It's an unbelievable act of, uh, of, of courage, of bravery, of uh, assessing the moment and acting. That hall monitor tackled the gunman and shot him with pepper spray. The suspect is 26-year-old Aaron Ibarra from a nearby Seattle suburb. He was not a student and, as far as we can tell, had no connection to the university or the victims. Police have not released a motive, although Cairo TV here in Seattle is quoting a police source who said Ibarra was obsessed with the Columbine massacre and wanted to shoot up a school. Classes here on the campus have been canceled today. Graduation ceremonies supposed to be next Saturday. A final being on Tuesday. Now all of that in the wake of another shooting, something that's becoming all too familiar here on college campuses in the U.S. Back to you, Jenna. Dan Springer with the latest from Seattle. Dan, thank you very much. In the meantime